Presented by Caltech. Here is a chocolate chip cookie. It's full of empty calories and fat, but it's delicious. And here you have a piece of celery. It's low calorie and nutritious, but it tastes, well, like celery. If you're like most people, you know the celery is the healthier choice, but it can be tough to resist that cookie. Why is self-control difficult when it comes to food? And why do some people have better self-control than others? Researchers at Caltech are trying to answer those questions. In a recent study, they asked subjects to rate 160 foods in terms of tastiness, healthiness, and overall satisfaction. The researchers then paired images of foods on a computer screen that had little correlation between healthfulness and taste, and asked subjects to choose between them. As the subjects used a mouse to click the preferred food item, their movements were tracked and recorded. Analyzing the mouse movements that preceded each split-second choice, the researchers figured out something important about how we make decisions. Humans process basic attributes, such as a food's tastiness, milliseconds faster than we process abstract attributes, such as its healthiness, 195 thousandths of a second faster to be exact. And while this may seem like no time at all, it's just enough for a person to get carried away by taste before nutrition has a chance to catch up. The key to self-control, then, may be slowing down our decision-making process so that good sense has a chance to compete with taste. What might this mean for how we eat? Maybe it means we think just a little longer before choosing an afternoon snack. Or maybe we display nutritional information on food packaging more prominently. The Caltech researchers hope their findings will offer insight into how we make decisions, both good and bad.